program, a research program called MEMEX that was funded under the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, which is the research arm of the U.S. Department of Defense. So DARPA spent uh, three years and $60 million to try and uh, develop next generation search technologies to help investigators uncover the footprint of human trafficking in the surface deep and dark web. You might be wondering why um, the DOD would spend so much time and money uh, fighting human trafficking. And the answer is that um, the same sorts of networks and illicit infrastructure that allows something like human trafficking to happen can allow a lot of uh, other problems uh, that have a, a more direct national security implication. And also it's just um, you know, an important problem to be working on. So um, my company, Hyperion Gray, works with Scraping Hub, actually. Uh, we joined forces in February of 2014 uh, to team, team up uh, and research this problem together. We kicked off the MIMIX program in September of 2014, uh, almost exactly five years ago now. Um, and the program lasted until October 2017, so three years we spent. Uh, and our work has actually continued since then um, and continues today, which Dave will talk about a little bit more about. Our uh, technology and research is served up to our end users through an application called Telfinder. So Telfinder allows you to search over all of the ads that have been collected historically. It visualizes the important facets of that information and it allows you to discover uh, patterns and trends and important connections in the data to facilitate broader international um, investigation. So Dave is gonna talk about basically, now that we've collected that data, we've solved uh, all kinds of uh, web crawling and scraping edge cases, um, everything that, that was mentioned this morning and more, proxies, captchas, um, you know, bad web development and everything in between. Um, we collect that data, and now what can we do with it to actually have an impact on human trafficking? Right, so I'll talk a little bit then about the next part of the pipeline. So uh, Scraping Hub has been scraping, and, and Beer and Gray have been scraping all the data, collecting it. Um, uh, artifacts like images, media artifacts are maybe put in long-term cloud storage. Um, the web pages are streaming through a streaming uh, Kafka or other streaming pipeline so that we're getting data in real time and then that comes into the Telfinder components which is where you have your ETL, your transformations. We do our post-processing. <laughs>